The Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, His Grace Stephen Kazimba Mugaru, has enthroned Right Reverend Ozere Awinjo as the new bishop for Nebi Diocese. Bishop Ozere Awinjo succeeds the late Reverend Alfonso Wathokudi, who succumbed to COVID-19 early last year. Retired Archbishop, His Grace Henry Luke Orombi, has been the caretaker of the diocese. The Archbishop of Church of Uganda, His Grace Dr. Stephen Kazimba Mugaru, charged Christians to support the new bishop in order to effectively deliver services to the congregation. We congratulate the new bishop, Bishop Ozere Pons and your family. The joy and excitement expressed by the people of Nebi Diocese and beyond ever since you were elected indicated hope and the lifting of the cloud of sorrow and mourning that had taken over the diocese. I want to charge you to love the people. Serve them. I urge you, friends and people of Nebi Diocese, to sincerely support your bishop. He thanked Christians of Nebi Diocese for being calm despite the earlier loss of their former bishop, Right Reverend Alfonso Wathokudi. You know when a, a diocese falls vacant or when a, a bishop dies, it, the diocese comes back to an archbishop. And now I have. I lost the two bishops, the bishop of here and uh, Nostriges. But I want to applaud you because you have not stressed me. Thank you, leaders of this region, for your unity, hospitality, and love, which is so clear. Vice President Major Jessica Alupo represented President Yori Museveni at the function. He pledged to cooperate with the new bishop in developing Nebi Diocese. The president donated a brand new car to the new bishop as support to his work. It is an honor and pleasure for me to be part of the consecration and enthronement of right Reverend Ozele Awinjo Pons as the new bishop for Nebi Church of Uganda. I once again convey my condolences to you all, but pray that the Almighty God gives the church the fortitude to bear with his laws. And today, remember him and appreciate his role during his tenure of service. Today, we usher in Reverend Ozele Awinjo Pons into leadership and we thank God and all leaders who saw him fit to take over such leadership at such a time when the church is having challenges of pastoring the flock amidst COVID-19 pandemic and other challenges. This responsibility is a call to serve with faith, dedication, humility, and integrity beyond personal compromise. Retired Archbishop His Grace Henry Luke Orombi asked the new bishop to be a people-based leader. I want to leave the office for a younger, capable leader to continue with this work. And today, God has given us that leader. May I ask you, my son, that leadership requires love for God and love for people as a preacher, Pons, love makes people humble and willing to serve rather than demanding service from people. May I request, in a parable way, to come down from that cathedral down to the people. I also want to request that you remove your robes which I have just put on you and tie, tie a towel around your waist in order to serve the people like Jesus did. In his maiden speech, Right Reverend Ozere Awinjo pledged to improve services to the people mainly in education, welfare of the clergy, and ensuring economic sustainability of the diocese, among others. Ministry to the children put resources towards careful teaching and learning geared towards godliness in our community. I'll try my best to work with all stakeholders to promote winning souls for Christ, nurturing and equipping Christians to maturity.
Litigations cannot help us. I'll try my best that we do the technical approach and also solving the, the church land challenges through peaceful resolutions. Improving the capacity and welfare of the clergy. Ape Kotegune and Aneno, Bishop Henry. Last year, Church of Uganda lost two bishops, one in Nebi and another in North Chigezi Diocese. Story by Joseph Odama for UBC News.